In this question, we are told that a 1.5 meter tall boy standing at some distance from a 30 meter tall building and the angle of elevation from his eyes to the top of the building increases from 30 degree to 60 degree as he walks toward the building and we are to find the distance he traveled he walked let us understand the situation diagrammatically suppose this is the ground level building and the boy the line segment KL represents building line segments M N represents the boy suppose boy has traveled the distance N S the line segment NS represents the distance he walked so height of the boy is 1.5 meter and height of the building is 30 meter so this line segment length of the line segment KL I am just denoting denoting as 30 meter M N S 1.5 meter you see that the line segment KQ will be 30 minus 1.5 30 minus 1.5 it will be 28.5 meter so KQ is 28.5 meter right angle triangle because building is standing on the ground perpendicular also KQT or KQM angle KQM is 90 degree perpendicular so in these right angle triangles KQT and KQM let us consider X which is MT or SN both are equal so SN or MT represents the distance he walked and I'm just assuming QT as Y for simplification I just have assumed QT the length QT is Y now we are to find the distance traveled by the boy the distance represented by SN so we are to find the value of X here and what is given to us the height KQ which is 28.5 and we are given that when boy walks the angle of elevation increases from 30 degree to 60 degree it means initially the angle of elevation was 30 degree angle of elevation the boy is standing here this is his eye level parallel to the ground level parallel to the horizontal so angle of elevation is above the horizontal level so this must be 30 degree so this is 30 degree and this angle is 60 degree now in right angle triangle K Q and T we see that the perpendicular is KQ which is 28.5 and angle under consideration is 60 degree we will find Y and X both so for Y we, we can write 10 of 60 degree is KQ upon QT KQ is 28.5 and Q 
QT we have considered it as Y. In right angle triangle KQT, QT I considered as base and KQ as perpendicular because tan theta is perpendicular upon base. Why? Because you see in KQT, the KT is the longest side, so it is hypotenuse. QT is making the angle under consideration with hypotenuse. So QT and KT are making angle. So QT I can consider as the base for this angle of consideration for this angle 60 degree. KQ is just opposite to this angle. So KQ is perpendicular. So perpendicular KQ upon base QT is tan theta. Theta is angle under consideration. This is 60 degree. We know that tan of 60 degree is under root 3. So comparing these two terms, we can say Y is 28.5 divided by root 3. On rationalizing, you can see it is 28.5 divided by root 3 root 3 and root 3 we will get y is equal to 28.5 root 3 divided by 3 we can reduce 28.5 by 3 3 ones are 3 3 nines are 27 and 3 fives are 15 so it is 9.5 square root 3 so value of y is 9.5 root 3 Now, in triangle KQM, KQM is a right angle triangle. The longest side is KM. This is the longest side, KM in KQM, the right angle triangle. So, K KM is the longest, longest side. So, KM is hypotenuse. Side QM is making the angle under consideration 30 degree. So, QM is the base and KQ is just opposite to 30 degree so it can be considered as perpendicular. So in triangle KQM 10 of 30 degree is equal to KQ upon the whole length QM and we know that KQ is 28.5 and QM is y plus x and also we know that 10 30 degree is 1 divided by under root 3 1 divided by square root 3 on solving this two sides we will get x plus y is equal to 28.5 under root 3 we know that y is 9.5 root 3 so we will substitute the value of y 9.5 root 3 here so y is 9.5 root 3 now is equal to 28.5 root 3 so x is 28.5 root 3 minus 9.5 root 3 x it is just like 28.5 r minus 9.5 r so it is 19.5 root 3 so x is 19.5 root 3 here we know that x represents the distance he walked so we can see the boy has walked 19.5 under root 3 meter 